This is the Guangzhou postcard from 200 years ago. It is rich in color, exquisite, and three-dimensional. It depicts the social conditions of the Lingnan district. It is even called the Along the River During the King Ming Festival of Guangzhou during the Qing Dynasty. They are the most popular export artworks in the 18th and 19th centuries. This is Tong Tao paintings or pith paintings. Tong Tao, also known as rice paper plant or Tetrapanax papyrifer, has a velvety texture. The pith from the stem is cut into thin slices, which are thin and translucent and can be used for painting. The so-called Tong Tao painting or pith painting refers to a watercolor painting drawn on Tong Tao paper. Around 1835, there were about 30 shops selling pith paintings in the vicinity of 13 factories in Guangzhou, and tens of millions of pith paintings were exported from Guangzhou to Europe. Why were pith paintings so popular? For this reason, Ji Yi Fei, the host of Guangdong TV's Silk Road Story, visited Guangdong Museum researcher Bai Fang. Uh, 它搬布了一道玉纸中国的画家学习借鉴西方的这种绘画技法通草水彩画是用水彩的技法Bai Fang said that, as a folk artwork sold to the West, Tong Tao paintings failed to leave much ink in historical records. And with the rise of photography, they almost disappeared in the 1930s. It was only in the last 20 years, through the joint efforts of folk collectors and overseas friends, that we were able to reacquaint ourselves with this type of painting and bring them back to Guangzhou. Mr. Alastair Blackburn, affectionately called Lao Bu by Guangzhou collectors, and his wife Wendy Zhu Wen from China, has always had a passion for art and are now the only collectors of 19th century Guangzhou Tong Tao painting in the UK or even the whole of Europe. Most of the pith paintings from Guangzhou folk collectors were found in Europe by the Lao Bu and sent back to China. I'm afraid to say it, I think it varies according to the particular painting. Clearly the paper itself and the way that the paint sits on that paper to create almost a three-dimensional effect in some cases is very unusual because most watercolours the paint absorbs into the paper and creates a softer outline, a more atmospheric outline. More than 200 years ago, these palm-sized Tong Tao paintings traveled across the ocean, 
spreading the oriental scenery of the commercial port Guangzhou to the rest of the world. More than 200 years later, these special paintings that have survived the vicissitudes of time return to their hometown, awakening the vivid memories of the old days of Guangzhou. They have also made a worldwide impact on Chinese culture. What has gone out of China is not just commodities and artworks, but a national psychology and cultural paradigm that has lasted for thousands of years, and a national art with a strong oriental charm.